And new at nine, there's been another case of road rage. This one happened outside a church. And police say the suspect actually drove her car into the side of that church, got into a fight with someone, then jumped into their car, driving it into a tree. Just a wild situation. Mm. Tori Thornton working this exclusive tonight. Toy, this happened right before a church service. Yeah, it sure did, Lenise and Byron, about 30 minutes before. It didn't involve the Rehoboth Missionary Baptist Church in Mobile. It just happened in their parking lot. It wasn't easy like Sunday morning for victims of a road rage incident two weekends ago. Mobile police say they were called to Rehoboth Missionary Baptist Church around 10 on Sunday the morning of the 17th. Police tell us Catalina Moore crashed her car into the church and two parked cars after a road rage incident. You can see the impact on the church building. After she left the car, detectives say a fight started between Moore and a person in another car. Court documents say Moore jumped into the other person's car with the passenger still in it and drove it across the street into a tree. After 10 days on the loose, Moore was arrested yesterday. Jail records show she was also arrested for reckless driving in 2017 and 2018. These sorts of incidents are becoming more common in the area. These folks saying I'm arresting them, but it's just road rage, you know. Just last week, Delwyn Knight turned himself in to Daphne police after these videos and lots of reports of his rage surfaced. Get your state up, you don't want and last month, a big rig driver went bonkers behind the wheel in Mobile County. Ooh! Ooh! He was caught on camera forcing other cars off the road, including an ambulance. The driver, Michael Mack, was arrested after a five-hour standoff in Mississippi. And police say Moore confessed to everything once she was arrested yesterday. She's facing criminal mischief, attempted theft, and reckless endangerment charges. She's still in Metro Jail tonight. In the newsroom tonight, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.